Well, thank you for that. And, and since 2011, when the National Action Plan in the United States was revealed, uh, the Daniel K. Inouye Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies immediately there in around early 2012 embraced this idea as to how we can look at the issue of people-centric uh, understanding using transparency, respect, and inclusion to finding mutual solutions. And that was Daniel K. Inouye's vision. And so it made so much sense for our center back in 2012 to be advocates of the role of women in peace and security. And so I would say we've held in 2013 a, uh, a workshop in Vietnam, followed by a workshop in Mongolia in 2016. And then uh, recently in Tonga in 2018, we had a symposium where we partner with Tongan leadership as well as the Nevada National Guard to be able to bring this discussion point about women in peace and security, gender security into the hands of folks that look at policy and look at security writ large. We are also uh, looking to, we have folded a lot of the efforts as advocacies of WPS into our fellows project. All of the alumni know what the fellows project are. We are focused on outcomes, on what you do with the relationships, the tools that you have, and also the better shared understanding. What do you do with it out there? And what better vehicle to use than the Fellows Project? And we have been very successful where fellows come here with a project on WPS and they've accomplished it. Uh, two that come to mind are a US major that uh, did back in 2014, as well as a Pakistani alumni back in 2017 that went ahead and accomplished their WPS. That was so notable that we made both of them uh, alumni of the year. 